Hey guys, how you doing? Mark here, aka the 13th. People keep requesting search and destroy, stop it! But we're going to give you some search and destroy tips anyway. Right, firstly, as all search and destroy games should start, good games should start, we're going to have a race for the bomb. Um, let's see who gets the bomb. Right, quick shout out to the guys. We've got myself, the 13th. We've got Podge, aka Maureen. We've got Viva Ken. We've got Superman. We've got Patty, who's not featured on YouTube with the clan before, but he's there now. And we've got Martin from Dutch Gamers. I quickly die, what a homo. The way I died was I'd used the wrong gun for the tactic that I used, um, so it was my own fault. But while that's going on, Podge knew that I was coming through the middle and flanked the guy from the side. Looking around for, where's the 13th? Knew I was coming through the middle. The douchebag is dead. So now Podge is going to go through and just push through and secure the area through the middle for us. <clears throat> so he goes up the stairs here and on his way back down, a guy comes running up to him with his hands behind his back. I don't know what he's doing. How's he shooting with his hands behind his back? Look. Wow, but he gets taken out anyway. So Podge was just securing that area, and good gameplay there from Podge as always. <clears throat> okay, so the very next game, I realised that the guy's going to be in the same place all round about, so I changed tack, changed gun, and put a G11 with hardened on. Check the guy out at the top. There's also a guy on the bottom floor, so you have to have your wits about you in search and destroy. I see the guy on the bottom floor, so I take him out. I know that somebody's keeping the guy on the middle floor um, occupied so I can move out to this location. I'm going to plant a claymore in case anybody comes out here. Now, because I've got a total beach, I know somebody's on my left hand side, I can hear him walking around. So I'll take that guy out. And now with search and destroy, what you have to move and what you have to do after shooting, move. And I'm predicting some guy is going to come out and get taken out by my claymore. There you go. So I'm now going to try and take this guy out on the window. He's gone there every time. Because I've got hardened, but I fail. But while that's going on, if you um, check my back, and there comes Superman backing me up and taking that guy out. And what does he do? He rage quits. So what's his name? What's his face? Left the game. Well done. Well done. Right, good gameplay here from from um, Superman. What he's got? He's got Hacker Pro. He's not going to hack the equipment right away. He's going to try and take out the guy that it belongs to. There you go. He's done so. And now he's going to hack it. And what's going to happen? There's three of us left if you look at the UAV. He's now going to dictate the game because he can see the guy on his minimap. So he's going to dictate the communication of the game. And we're going to try and cut this guy off with the help of Superman's communication. So the guy's moving everywhere. I don't know how he lasted so long alive, actually. Um, <clears throat> but he did. He just kept running around the map. Right, now, um, on the left-hand side, we know he's over here somewhere. On the left-hand side, Viva Ken comes along, but Superman throws a, a flashbang at him anyway. Let's have a look from Viva Ken's point of view. So, as I said, um, Superman is still sort of dictating the gameplay and telling us where to go and what the guy's doing. Look, there he goes. Viva Ken sees him, so he can now take over. Um, Viva Ken, he knows that he's going to have to get into a little bit of a firefight with this guy. What he's really good at is pistol whipping people. So what he's going to do is get rid of his G11 and use his pistol. Boom, boom, boom. Down goes the guy. Good gameplay there, Frankie. Right, quickly what I want to show you is a little um, trick. And we're going to view Martin um, 10 from the Dutch Gamers. Top guy, Martin, so a big shout out to you. Plays us quite a lot um, just recently and is, um, is, is a good, good guy as well. Good, good gameplay as well. It's called a fakie. He sees the guy, pretends to run away, comes back and takes the guy out. So what you do is you see the guy run away, but then come back and take him out because he's going to chase you. So he pretends to run away, comes back, and in your face, get some big time. So, um, top gameplay there from mine. <clears throat> nice face shot. Okay, so what we'll move on to now is a complete um, rounds gameplay from myself. <clears throat> Using the G11 still. Um, we're going to sort of Go around to the right, I'm going to follow Podge here. I sort of let Podge down a little bit because I'm expecting somebody to be in the window, but they're not there at the moment. I know that somebody will go there. Um, I noticed that the guy's just killed the Podge with an AK-74U. Um, so I really don't want to get into a firefight with the person with an AK-74U from using the G11. So I'm going to sort of work my way over. I know that they will have moved because I just flashed them. I'm just sort of going to sit here and, and let them come to me. I'm quite... Um, aware that somebody would possibly be to the right, but somebody runs across the walkway. Did you see that? Um, but I'm just going to sit here and, and I'll catch that that person there at the bottom. Somebody always comes up this way after you've shot there, so you have to be aware of that. Now I've seen on my mini map my, my players dwindling quick, so I'll pick up this commando with a silencer, which will help me out a little bit when I need to shoot people and um, hide me from the enemy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a uh, a grenade. Not to try and kill somebody, but just as sort of a decoy. 
and use this um, sort of tube obstacle in the way to to hide from that person there, and then um, take them out from um, from from the back. Now you notice that I've got a sentry gun there. I could have thrown it towards the blackbird there in the middle and used that as a decoy and try and pick people off, but I decide not to um, because I'm quite confident that there's somebody up above me in on the stairs. So I don't want to. Um, get two people coming at me at once, I just want the one person, so I take them, still got two left, still take them out at the um, at separate times. And I'm also aware that I've still got the G11 with Hardened, and that person has been in the window every time, has not been too good with their shooting. So thank you very much, get my um, helicopter kill streak. And then move away from where I just was, and because I like playing the objective, I'm not going to sit around and sit in a corner and wait for the person to pass me and shoot them like some people, I'm going to collect the bomb and try it and plant the bomb. So I'll move around to the right because I think that person will come to B and check me. Um, and, and my prediction is what? Right, so check this out. Over that person goes over the SR-71, so I plant a claymore there. So if that person should want to come through the middle now, if they've got Hacker or Hacker Pro on, they've got to destroy my claymore to get that way. Or they've got to come from my left as I'm facing now, or from the rear right, which is from our spawn. I'm pretty confident that that person is going to come from sort of this direction there. Or maybe behind A, that direction, or maybe through this door here. Quite lucky that person comes that way, it's quite an easy kill. <clears throat> so I hope that them search and destroy tips have helped you. Remember, after you've shot, move, so shoot, move, and be aware of your location, other people's location at all times on the minimum. Please comment, like, and sub, and don't forget to check us out at www.dofizz.com.